the issue of importation of maize in this country. It is unfortunate, for, in my own opinion, it is a tragedy of monumental proportions. Madam Speaker, we have enough food supply in this country, especially when it comes to maize. It has never happened, Madam Speaker, in the history of this country that we are importing maize at a time when at the North Rift and South Rift we are harvesting maize. Madam Speaker, it has never happened and we condemn the same in the strongest terms possible. Madam Speaker, if you look at the cost of maize production in this country, uh, this year fertilizer was 7,000 shillings, diesel price wa was high, and other farm inputs, the prices were high. So, Madam Speaker, if you look at the cost of production of maize, in where I come from, it totals to uh, 35,000 to 45,000 per acreage. Madam Speaker, if this maize is imported to the country, Madam Speaker, that will mean that the prices will drop. And that, we, that is what we stand to condemn before this House. Madam Speaker, on the issue of GMO, I have no more authority to, to uh, discuss the same because I'm not a scientist, but there is a controversy on whether the same is good or bad for human consumption. Madam Speaker, if there is a controversy, then the same should be discarded because the same was lifted, the ban was lifted in this, uh, by, the, by the Cabinet, or so they say, without the consultation of this House. Madam Speaker, we stand before this House as the true representative of the people. I'm surprised, Madam Speaker, that even the Committee on Trade, the Committee on Agriculture, the National Assembly Committees and the members are not aware of this lifting of the ban and on, on, on the importation of uh, the GMO maize. Finally, Madam, Madam Speaker, if the importation was necessary, then I believe that there are, there are many other countries that grow maize and they sell the maize at a cheaper price. Madam Speaker, the CS, Moses Kuria, Honorable, specifically stated that the importation is in respect to GMO maize. Countries like Zambia, Tanzania, Uganda grow maize that is not GMO and they sell the same at a cheaper price. So, Madam Speaker, we need proper investigations so that we know the intention of the importation that has been executed by the CS. Madam Speaker, we are informed, although there are allegations that, as we speak, there is a, there is a ship that has uh, decked in Mombasa port, and the same is carrying 10,000 bags of maize. Madam Speaker, how can the same be done without gazette, gazette men of the same? So we need to look into this, uh, this issue critically so that at the end of it, we don't, one, we don't disadvantage the hardworking farmers who have gone to their land, they have cultivated, they have planted maize, they are harvesting, and then they get the disadvantage of the price. Number two, we do not import harmful products, uh, harmful maize that our people will consume in this country. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. The next chance will go to the member for Dagoreti North, Honorable Beatrice Elachi.